You know, you, you put that ring on in the afternoon, you throw the bracelet on for uh, five o'clock, it's five o'clock mm -hmm. somewhere for a drink, mm -hmm. and then you're going to the captain's table and you keep put that necklace, necklace on. Whoa! Ooh, done. Done. Done, done, done. Done, done. <laughs> and you're doing it for for a crazy well price. and everything has five legs so wow. uh, that ring is going to be at 35 dollars yeah, i'm awesome. terrible at math but i know that's it's good. awesome okay yeah we have another piece we're going to talk about before we get to the today's special it's coming i promise we'll show you the price i know so many of you are waiting on it we've sold almost 500 in this hour are you kidding and, no no that's <laughs> and so it's going to be fun at midnight, and we will reveal uh -oh. everything, I promise. But many of you know you can get a head start if you'd like to. But we're going to end this hour with um, the Forget Me Not. Now, this is a special New Year's price. First time ever at this price. We've never done a better value than what you're seeing right now. Yeah, well, this is this is beautiful. This is a so collection funny. that is very, very dear to my heart, the Forget Me Not. And that knot is, of course, a symbol of love. And the way that this is pave makes it so special. You can see here that it is inter, it just weaves in and out, and it is um, a just never ending beautiful pave knot of seed pearl pave, uh, beautiful, beautiful Siam crystals, as well as topaz and amethyst, and of course, Montana blue sapphire. So that you can see, do you see how the dimension Crazy. here, yeah. you, to cast this piece is very, very sure. difficult. Now, you know, girls, when you are, when you're in those stores that, you know, have, has, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, pretty fashion sort of jewelry, it's always flat mm -hmm. and it's very lightweight and it's, um, it has zero Only dimension. one dimension, right? Yeah. yeah. So here you can see that the not only is the mold making crucial in bringing this ne this necklace piece to you, the forget me not. You see that that workmanship that's literally it's paved on the side. Well, and it's up in there. It's up in there. <laughs> that is a, and in here. So the mold, and you know what I'm going to do? Crazy. I'm going to bring in a rubber mold, and I'm going to show you, um, you know, what what it takes and how difficult this is to do because when you have that rubber mold and you've casted the pieces you know you have to take the rubber mold cut the rubber mold apart to uh, reveal these metal pieces and if that is not done just so you have to start all over from scratch oh my gosh. so it's a very very difficult thing it's a lost art and this is a perfect well, example of that but explain that's before you set the stones that's even before okay, oh, you, think, that's you think magically some machine pops uh -huh. out they go no. and it all comes out looking this beautiful <laughs> the steps are so hard and those are hand set stones yeah and they all have to be set by hand one at a time every single so, one and this so, is a remarkable piece it to show is that. and but you know and you can imagine it's just like setting a bead a pave bead or a, one of our bead mm -hmm. caps because you know when it's something that's that's on the side like that, you have to make sure that it sets perfectly, otherwise the stones will be uh, angled incorrectly. Oh, wow. So, you know, the, and then of course the stringing of it and how 